Hello. Fenton here. All right, monster train. You absolute flipping bell. I played some casual, what can loosely be described as casual monster train, not on video, for my own personal research. And uh, it went about as well as you could expect, obviously. Uh, the This is an episode, this was an episode, this was an episode. Up to here were episodes. So then I've played six runs where I've been just... They were random, random, and I've just been experimenting with things changing you know like common I, I don't I'm worried that I've sort of ingrained myself into this is how you win monster train when that's not true and so I'm making decisions based on what I have convinced myself is this is how you win monster train and that's why I'm not winning anymore because those principles don't actually hold water so we're going to try again, and I believe we were on Awoken, were we not? If we were, it, it doesn't really matter. It's green-yellow. It's Awoken Umbra. It's Seraph the Temperant. Two razor-sharp edges, two packed morsels, and an invigorating solution. I like where this is going. Oh, volatile gauge. You can't really take that anymore. Now it's between zero and, and now it's between one and three, and not zero and three. It's much worse because it's basically going to make all of my cards more expensive. <laughs> so we take forty pie health, which is good. And it's the two not very good ones. Oh dear. You just need damage in the early game. You just make need to make sure you've got the damage. Getting drawed as, uh, on a zero attack monster just does nothing. Although arguably I did have two Razor Sharp Edges. Maybe there was a case to be made there for that. So I've already done it wrong. So that's good to know. That's good. That's a good start. No, don't get, don't tilt already, all right? Don't tilt already, pal. Mm, just let this through for nine. <laughs> just take nine straight away. in the middle and we just sort of make you survive a bit longer with morsels and the same here right terrible <laughs> am I doing? Bye. It's fine, we got 40 pyre health from the first artifact, what else, what more can you say about it? Thirty? Is that it? Is that all you got for me? Ninety, a hundred and forty. Oh, an energy array. Well, we took what twenty? That's all right. That's, that's all right. <laughs> For 75 gold to get started, a restoration donation is a good card. It, uh, yeah, sure. More packed morsels. 
a mine collapse is targeted damage, which is definitely very important. So I'll take it. Um, I guess we go and try and get a unit from here, rather than trying to get an Awoken unit with no upgrades. Uh, 5, 10, 25, and quick. Interesting. I'll give you that just to let you live for a bit longer, and then really I don't want anything else. Arguably plus 25, but I don't, yeah. Spikes three. Spikes three? Why not, eh? Middle floor small because of course it is. Um Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The haste. The haste. Oh no. The haste. <laughs> what do I do about that now? Not sure. I guess I make sure it doesn't happen again. And just take a bit more damage here and just uh, say that we got these first two trials for free because of pyre plating. Like, that's some ouch, that is. That is some ouchies. Uh, am I really just dead here because I can't kill this dude with haste? Out of all the cards I drew. That's pretty gross, isn't it? That's a pretty severe mistake that I maybe should have been aware that was was going to happen. Do I do anything about this? No. Should have played on the top. Should have played on the top. Oh dear. Wow, what great stuff. What absolutely lovely stuff there. I'm so glad I spent all of that time researching how the game works. Right. <laughs> what was it? It was green, green, yellow. Yeah, it was green, yellow. Yeah, okay. Well, let, let's just make sure that we're... <laughs> that was a harsh lesson. We learned a harsh, harsh lesson there. Ooh, an edge prior. Two space prisms. Two space prisms is flipping tasty. And a steel enhancer. Two steel enhancers, in fact. So after the temperate again... Obviously. First time each turn an enemy unit dies, add two morsel units to your hand. That seems pretty good with two space prisms. Am I am I wrong? Am I wrong? And we got the spikes one. At least. At least we got the spikes one this time. I can't think of any case with you for that revenge one. Must. We learned the hard way there that we have to. <laughs> we really, really have to uh, make sure.
make sure that we're aware of when the combat is the enemies with haste. Other than, yeah, because that was. I'm not getting the collector here, which is sad. I'm not really sure how I could have gotten the collector, but there we go. I had an energy there. Could have just played. Could have just played a train steward for fun, but you know, you're not dead. Oh, this is, uh, no, wait. Oh, wait, it's because of Edge Prior, yep. Took me a moment there. Took me a moment to work that one out, but... Whatever, just keep playing up the top here, it's fine. We got loads of space. Great. That's some energy, I suppose. Lifesteal is nice. Get rid of that. Ah, nine damage is alright. Play them all. Play every single card. Just heave them out there. Play out your hand just in case. <laughs> okay. We took 9 damage, but the, the, the deck's alright. The deck's alright. Glimmer. Glimmer is a good card. Enhance with plus four and plus four spikes also is exciting. But Glimmer is free on that top floor as well, so that's even more it's even more exciting to me. Um Lifesteal is not that exciting when the sentient doesn't get any attack, but it will do eventually. But we shouldn't forget this just to go all in on I'm going to take this, because we have energy, right? We've got Edge Prior, we've got some energy surplus going on. Damage Shield 2, Spikes 4, and Endless. Endlay. Morsel Master. Crucible Warden. Crucible Warden's not the good Warden. But it's probably going to have to do for now, because <laughs> of reasons. I suppose we better take it. This is one of the things that I'm trying to notice of myself as well is that I would probably, I think, a ver there's a version of me in the past that would have pressed skip there because this wasn't like a 10 out of 10 card, but it's still like a 7 out of 10 card, 6 out of 10, it's 5 and a half out of 10. Um, it does more than nothing, and the deck doesn't do much on its like. I think you get the point. Do I want to put upgrades on it though is the question. No? Do I want to put any of these upgrades on it? don't know whether to re-roll or just wait. There's actually no shop on this floor at all so I will. I will at least give it, I don't know, spikes four, I suppose. Does something. Not my favourite upgrade, spikes four. Non a boss enemy units enter with spikes three. Can we take that? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Does Edge Prior attack? Or does it have zero? It has zero, that's good. Yeah. 
I think I'll just play the space in the middle now. I think I'll just give the more source to this Crucible Warden here. Miss the Collector again. We don't really do much currently, do we? Oh no, you die because you've got two attack, haven't you? I guess that would happen regardless of where I put it. Don't need to play that, but no reason to not play it also. Oh look, Edge Prize here. And my flipping train stewards. Again, all of that really matters, but still. It's a good chance I draw Glimmer next turn as well. Get rid of these. And then some damage shield, some attacks, some spikes. I think we're probably alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Forgot how to use a mouse. Taking some taking some damage up here. Not really any way around that. Glimmer, if kills an enemy, gets us morsels because of Shade Lamp. We actually make loads of morsels. Like, a sh silly amount. A lot. Sharpen. Sharpen? For my sentient? Maybe. I feel like this is quite an important decision, actually. I feel like... This is very key. I don't think it does enough for two energy as well. I think I'm gonna skip it. Packed morsels though seems good. We make so many morsels. Could put lifesteal on a crucible warden and just think, pretend that he's a Crucible Collector. I like that, actually. I like that. Three lifesteal is, is not to be sniffed at. And put a holdover on it, and then just get a zero cost deck, and then just be like, yep. You'll go. Pass turn, you'll go. And we need more units, really. A Shattered Shell. I like that. I like that behind the Sentient, I think. Although we got a lot of space, we could probably get it behind the Crucible Warden as well. We don't have that much space though. I'd probably put it behind the Sentient. Really helps with the back line. And does the Sentient end up going on the bottom now then? Probably. If you're going to kill the back line, you, may, you need to be killing it on the first floor, because otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, give me a shad shell. I'll put quick on it at some point. Probably. Maybe. Oh. I wasn't ready for this. 
I hadn't planned for that. Space prism? <laughs> Need cards that really do something. Immortal trade? One copy of Immortal trade? What about five copies of Crucible Warden? Or six copies of Crucible Warden? Pretty irrelevant when they say hallway on the minute. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Five copies of Immortal Trade. I wish I'd have upgraded anything before I came here. And there's a flipping Hellvent as well. If there's a Hellvent, are there th is there something we want just three copies of? Dupe it once and then from here and then dupe it again somewhere else. I'm going to do the dumb thing. I'm going to do the ridiculous the ridiculous plan here and play that. And take draw from the boss. Because hopefully we get lots of zero cost morsels from our uh, shade lamp. And then we just do that. You know? It's probably wrong. It's probably incorrect. Now, oh, Shattered Shell certainly doesn't make a huge amount of sense, does it? Because these just die to the spikes anyway. So... But equally, there's not really a good... Yeah, Spike sort of deals with the backline for you if it's got a low amount of health. There's not even, there's not a good way to good place to put any of these though at the moment. I guess I'll play on the top. I suppose. Wow, this is annoying. Flipping double explosion. Why? Is there even anything I do about this now? I play on the bottom, I suppose. Not getting any morsels. I've thinned the deck out too much. It's all immortal trades and no morsels, <laughs> no morsel generation. That's alright, I'm going to get some morsels next turn, right? Because a whole bunch of stuff is dying, so... That doesn't give you this. It's an enemy unit and it dies, so why does it not give you the thing? Of course, just bomb the top floor. Great stuff. Very cool, Daedalus. Thank you. Are you dead? Are you seriously dead? Because all the flipping damage shield doesn't go anywhere. You're dead as well now. Not by much though, so thankfully I can do this. Lifesteal on two two attack. Great. Really good. Really useful. Now it's worth it. Oh, 
Ooh, the edge prize showing back up. Is that is that worth playing? You have seven life steal, can't be. Five thirty-three. This does it though, surely. Yeah. It's janky. It's total jank at the moment. <laughs> Shadow Siege. Alloyed Construct might be a flaw. Alloyed Construct's um, Shade Splitter, Shattered Shell, sorry, might be a flaw. And then Crucible Warden is a flaw, and then the Sentient is a flaw. We do make a lot of morsels. Cool, the deck's 35 cards. I love it. I love it. What absolute flipping genius player of Monster Train I am. Let's go and get some unit upgrades, shall we? Some higher health. Large stone. That's the whole floor, meaning that you can't be fed. But 40 times 2 is, you know. Maybe Shattered Shell Crucible Warden is a floor now, and Allied Construct is just sat on his own. 40 times 2, and plus all the buffs from, uh, from um, the Morsels. Let's do it. Well, it. The thing is, it gives us some resiliency, right? Like... The other thing I feel like I'm doing too much is playing into... I'll give you 45 health for the life still. Is I'm playing into, this is my one plan. Right? Like... My one plan is this here, this here, and this here. And then when I can't do it, I'm just like, ah, no! Regents. Ah, uh, trade stewards can go. Whatever. Just keep getting rid of them. Um, so this also gives us some, like, we can shuffle these about a bit, depending on what order we draw them and what the combat is as well, which is obviously very nice. And we'll take more spikes, because don't really need to draw, because I put loads of zero-cost cards in there. Ah, uh, maybe I should have drawn for that exact reason. More spikes. I'm not doing this one. I'm not doing this one. Thank you very much. These guys scare me a lot. The more I play this game, the more clipped reflectors start to really upset me. <laughs> so what floor's small? Middle, all right. Maybe Crucible Collector, Crucible Warden, sorry, goes in the middle. Maybe we probably can do the plan here. The plan, TM. Although Sentinel at the bottom, with the spikes, that gets this dead like just straight away. Don't have a lot of healing though. Like I've got this edge prior, but I don't have a lot of uh, cards that actually say heal printed on them. I've lent too hard into Umbra, not enough into Awoken, which is a mistake when your champion is Awoken. I may as well just do that. Gets me the uh, gets me the morsels as well, which is definitely part of the plan. Definitely did notice that. Whoa, 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 don't don't do that. There we go. Another uh collector that I'm not getting. Thanks very much. Very cool. from this clip refractor, but whatever. As long as it's not the last 10 health that I have. Oh wow, look, space prisms have shown up. I don't even know where to play these, to be honest with you. This alloyed construct is an absolute unit. Maybe 
maybe a couple down here. Uh, if I put one here, then I can play the Shroud Mitosis. Regardless. So then the others probably need to go one. I mean, I kind of want to put one here. But I don't want to give this... Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. I can give him ten. Because he's going to take two rounds regardless. So, as long as I don't give him another ten. Didn't draw the Shroud Mitosis yet. That's fine. How much fuel do you have? Two. I split my morsels too far over different floors. Or is the Crucible Warden just now primed to be ignored? Maybe Crucible Warden is not part of the plan anymore. Maybe that's what's happening. Oh, I can again. Why? Fine. I won't play Restore on my Sentient. Screw you. This the shadow the 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 shattered shell is doing nothing because everything dies to the spikes on the sentient. This unit is also not very good anymore. Where do these need to go? Big shout out to Shroud Mitosis, of course, being the bottom card. I guess just the top floor wins, I suppose. The top floor is where all the magic is happening. Yeah, alright, fine. It's a lifesteal alloyed construct, that's the deck now. That's the deck. can all you want, mate. Oh, why did I do that? Wanted to bloody do that. I forgot to count. I forgot to count to two. It still does a very respectable 94. I kind of thought it'd just get owned. Okay. The deck is a mortal trade outward construct. That is the plan. We have thankfully discovered that. It took us four circles, but you know, we got there. One rooted and draw one. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Uh, engine upgrade. It's just going to get eaten up by life uh, Ember Train. Um. Card removes. Event. Yeah. It's too early to remove you now. It is on my list of things to do. Don't get me wrong. I will do that at some point. But for now, it's fine. And you never know. We might find something that actually just makes you acceptable. Um... um. Yeah. None of that is really lighting my world on fire right now, but I'm kind of not in the market for taking cards with an energy cost printed on them. Uh, 
<laughs> so I don't know whether to make this or this free. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the glimmer free. I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on a minute. There we go. That's the end of that. But start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. Yeah, fine, sure. do this and then I'm going to do ooh, hmm. I'll put you down here I mean you don't live for very long but oh you don't live at all in fact to ha <laughs> yeah and oh, now I can't play can't play both of the either of the shade splitters in fact right great good stuff whatever I'm I'm not in a good mood. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, you probably can. Uh, the content is not it's not full of my usual joie de vivre. Um, and the other thing is that this video will be like a week, be a week later before actually uh, <laughs> in real life because I'm making like two videos a day but only putting one a day live. So there's not really much point in um, really going into it with you. Okay, let me just. Uh, well, obviously, I rooted this guy. The ch this little cherub. Oh, Trying to steal my money. When I first played this game, I thought it was taking 75 gold off me. I thought it had come into my train and taken some of my money, and if I didn't kill it, I wouldn't get it back. I didn't realise it was just free money. Like, where's it coming from? Where? It, where? Like, why? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Just giving you 20 armor here. Still don't fully understand how the harvest works now with uh, morsels. Ow. This is another way I've noticed that I lose a lot is that my deck is too slow to start. And that if I can't get Allied Construct up in like the first two turns, units just walking straight past me. Okay, got a lot of cards here, a lot of energy, uh, not a lot of energy to spend. So I'm thinking, Edge Prior gets me Restore, Restore for free. So that's these three cards, Glimmer Zero anyway. And then I might just stop putting Immortal Trade on the Allied Constructs and playing these. So the only card that then doesn't get played is... Oh wait, no, they all get played, because... I've got two energy and all of these now cost zero. Great! I'm a genius! Is this best here? Gives me an extra, help, bit, extra bit of health here. Wow, that's loads of morsels, isn't it? Right, which morsels are the best up here? Uh, plus four, plus four. Oh no, my making of a morsel. It's fine. I suppose you can have that. You can have this and this, and then let's start getting ready for the boss, I suppose. Nice 30 damage there. Hopefully I'm not just dead. That'd be funny. I shouldn't be anymore. Like, this guy should be clearing stuff out. Okay, this isn't looking good anymore.
don't, I think without Heaven's Gold, we probably probably would have been dead. Probably would have been dead a long time ago. It's very, very, very sketchy right now. Did I have any energy to start with? Could I have just not played that, regardless? Yeah, it's uh it's looking pretty weird, isn't it? Do I have one health? Twenty-five, forty-one. No, no, no. You, I, I, I have nine health. That's you know. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. Oh my god, how are you not dead? Why does more lifesteal and ember drain not help? I don't understand. Oh, because you're out of fuel! sweep and you're out of fuel. Two very important things. Easy game. Not adding any of these. And the cache is interesting. It gets, it gets us energy on the uh, second go through the deck. 9 HP! That's, that's 8 more than you need. Card removes. 20 pyre health. 20, 20 pyre health. 20 pyre health. Uh, Morsel Miner is generally annoying because it just takes up space that you needed otherwise. But we do get them all eaten, mostly, turn one. Do we not? So if we draw a sentient... All of these three go on their own floor, so it doesn't matter. As long as we've got more than three space. It's just if we draw a sentient edge prior. I actually think we can we can take this. This is the one time where the actually t taking this is fine. And it also means that there's, uh, we can get alloyed construct fueled slightly faster. Sketches of Salvation. Doesn't really work, because if Allied Construct doesn't end up at the front, then we lose. Dazed on the floor below the Pyre Room is also not very good, because if we're putting... Uh, I guess we could put Allied Construct at the top. Make sure that that happens. That's an interesting idea. But then we don't need to worry about that because we've got lifesteal. Like, it doesn't matter that they're dazed. They don't, we don't need. I don't think I want any of these. What, what cards do they consume on them? Ember Cache, eh? Ember Cache could get pretty out of control in theory. Space Prisms could go back through the deck, but that's not really relevant. I'm going to reroll. <laughs> Friendly units enter with lifesteal too. Units gain an extra upgrade slot. We haven't used our upgrade slot on Elder Construct yet. Or X cost cards, of which you have zero. That does fit in a nice zero cost energy deck. I'll take this just because it's just because it's normal. It's a nice, always acceptable card to have. And it's time to die to fell. 
Shall we? <laughs> These enter with lifesteal too. That's pretty funny. Right, wait, wait, wait. Actually, just think about this for a moment, would you? Okay, Shattered Shell is actually going to start getting stuff done here. You can imagine. I'm sad about drawing two of these already, but there are six in the deck, so maybe it's fine. Lifesteal? Lifesteal, am I right? This is also an interesting turn. Another three immortal traits. Clip reflectors, can you just bugger off, please? Do you need to live? Is that really that important? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Well, you enter with two life steal, which is nice to know. I'll leave you I'll leave you alive with this glimmer so you can get a slay. I might not play the edge prior here, just so that there's more space here for morsels. Although there are three shadow space prisms in the deck. Yeah, all right. Alright, I'll talk myself into it. And you need more fuel, because I'm not making that mistake again. That was uh, very outrageous. It's alright, we'll just have we'll just have these the next time through the deck. But this combat goes long enough that we'll definitely draw them again. Plus with this Ember Cash. Good. This is this is actually quite nice down here, isn't it? It's just a case of where I'm playing the rest of this stuff. I guess we'll just make sure that you have enough fuel, because we almost <laughs> almost died because of that last time. You're definitely dying, that's nice. You will die by the time you get to the top. Because this guy's just an absolute beast. And a lifesteal is very good. Him being on the top does mean he just is spending fuel to exist. And now he's actually getting something. Twenty-four. Okay, so there's not really any way I give you too much in camp, is there? I'd have to play five spells. Seven spells, because you're also taking 20 damage this turn anyway. But nothing really needs regen, because... Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to play that. So I guess I just play a bunch of Shade Splitters and see which one I want to Shroud Mitosis. These energy morsels are very upsettingly bad. prisms have arrived. 
52 times 2. Not quite enough to... You're dead, but you're not. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, it's fine. Morsels that say gain attack would be nice here. I, 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 not, I can't tell a lie. Am I too? E am I am I playing too equally on on the bottom and the top floor? Should I just be putting everything I have on this uh, alloyed construct floor instead of just poking my head down here every now and then and throwing them a bone, a bone that they otherwise don't need, that I don't need to win? Oh, the ensnare would have helped at some point. Okay, right, we can it's time to go, right? It's time to it's time to kick off. I'm gonna play this just for the one draw, but it doesn't really seem like it's necessary. Please, please, morsels that say attack on them, please. Really good to empty your hand and then play your draw cards, that makes a lot of sense. You should feel proud. You should feel proud about that decision. Play half your turn out and then draw more cards. Really clever. Really clever stuff. I'm taking it too seriously. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm taking I'm treating it like it's a job. I'm gonna get shot in the head if I don't win. It's a good motivator, admittedly, but it's not quite how one has fun with a game. Ember Drain 2 is not even that much. It's not even really causing me more energy problems than I than I was anticipating. I have this problem sometimes, and by sometimes I mean all of the time, is that I want, if I want to be good at something, I try, and then if I'm not immediately good at it, then I get really upset at myself. Like, I'm a stupid idiot, oh my god, oh, I'm so dumb. Despite not recognizing that people have to actually learn how things work and the game that this 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 complicated, you can't just what does Steam say? Let me know. What does Steam, please? Seventy three hours. Like that's a lot of hours, to be fair. Uh, let's keep going up here. How much fuel do you have? Thirteen. Seventy times two, hundred and forty times thirteen. Fourteen times thirteen. Oh god. Hundred and thirty, four, fifty. Two hundred and one thousand nine hundred and twenty. Is that correct? You don't use two fuel with the multi strike, do you? God knows. I have no idea. Okay, so the Ember Drain actually has ticked up here. Uh, one hundred and five. Not really much I need to do about that. I could give you three life steal, I suppose. Gets a decent amount of damage on. There's a good chance I draw more of these later. Yeah, yeah, that goes up to 361. Yeah, suddenly, for some reason, being good at monster training has become quite a large part of my identity, and I'm not really sure why. And this, this is what happens. Uh, this happened with Slay the Spire, and it happened with, uh, it happened with Netrunner as well, I used to play Android Netrunner. And uh, I used to play a lot of that. Wow, that's four Immortal Trades. Lol. Good. I was like five percent of me there was like uh, it's not gonna be enough is it I'm just gonna slow it down just to double check exactly 16 fuel 
minus... wait, plus two fuel, yeah, minus one, minus one, okay, so you only use one fuel, so we add nine lifesteal and ten, at least ten fuel left there, okay, so that is the Seraph killing plan. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Space. We'll draw. Space seems alright, doesn't it? Space seems like it would be an easy win. Not an easy win as in we win the game easily from that decision, but like it does. Should the uh, space prisms not show up early enough. It gets us there. I don't think double draw is particularly necessary. More card removes. Magic shop. A unit shop, though. A unit shop. What are we getting next? Next we can have either as well. But both card removes are on the magic shop. Both times. But also it's on the pyre remains both times as well. It's crazy to me that Allied Construct still doesn't, he doesn't have a second unit upgrade. I think card removes are too important. I think stuff like the restores and uh, have to go. They're just clogging the deck up. I mean, arguably even the Shades players aren't that good because every time we kill a unit we get two morsels for zero anyway. But the Shade Splitters are definitely more valuable than the Restores, in my opinion. I might be wrong, given I have Edge Prior, but we'll see. We will see. Hold over. Hold over. Immortal Trade. So we set up, and then we just give Alloyed Construct... The problem is, we can give... In this in that plan, we end up giving Alloyed Construct more life still than he has fuel than it has fuel. So it's not particularly relevant. Shroud Mitosis might be more relevant to hold over because that gets us loads of morsels. And not only does it get loads of morsels, it's actually irrespective of space. That leaves us with uh, 30 gold exactly. We could also make it free. <laughs> Whoa, 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 not that one. Not that one. Christ. And card removes. I have just weakened my uh, pyre down, back down to 40, but I have stabilised in terms of health, so I think it's fine. It's not a train steward left. The restores really are just not that good. Two health and one regen on my champion is like really nothingy. And that's the only thing I'm giving it to. And then. <sighs> temper the strength of my units. That's fine, you can do that. The combat lasts long enough. Uh, spikes 5, 400 coins. Do I need 400 coins to win? Do I lose if I take Spikes 5? sweep. That's the problem with this combat, is that it's sweep. So I'm not going to be getting that many morsels. I'm going to not take it. Um, it's, it's worrying and I don't want to throw this run away. I'm taking a greedy trial. Alloyed constructs. Nice. Wait, which floor is small? It doesn't matter, we got space. We took space. The top floor is small, but we took space. So. There and you there, I suppose. The morsel doesn't make it through. Ah, uh, don't really want to give you rooted one. If I get if I give you <laughs> rooted one, I draw one card. But you're also on this floor with everything else that shows up. I guaranteed to get the collector though. Oh no, I'm not guaranteed because you don't actually attack. Oh yes you do, because you get five from this. 
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting question. What is the next wave? I'm not going to do it. Nah, it's quite a small wave actually. I probably could have done it. It's fine. Shattered Shell gets the collector here anyway. You die from this. This is my this is the my worry with the deck is that it's just going to take a little bit too long to get going because these hundred and nineties, oof, big oof. I mean, you got hundred and twenty five health and forty spikes, so that's all good. It's all gravy. It's not making you get a new beef. Give you the beef. There's the furnace tap, and I can't play it. I've been ember drained by the pyre wings. You have sweep, it's so gross. This is a case for uh, dazed being showing up. You have five health actually, so okay, that's <laughs> that's something, I suppose. Care about that? I'll put it down here. Um, and again, I'm not going to play those. The deck is actually thinning itself out, thinning itself out quite nicely. We've got a turn off from sweep, so we can actually get some morsels played, and we drew the shroud mitosis, which is a very nice indeed. You're not quite dead, but I'm taking 10 here, and then am I taking anything ever again after this? You're all plus 4, right? Oh no, you're lifesteal. Oh no, you have lifesteal, sorry. Yeah, you're all eat against plus 4. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Um, so I don't think anything gets through ever again now, because you're going to be on, like, what, 20? An extra 20 here as well. 68 times 2? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, rip Crucible awarded. Shroud mitosis. Ah, why? The numbers. The numbers don't quite add up. 75. And I only do 68. The flipping sweep. Oh, you've got plus 5. It's fine. Not plus 5, but a 5 health. Wait, wait, wait. This doesn't do a huge amount. I mean, it's annoying, but you only do 4 in the end, so. This is a pain. It's Edge Briar on 1 HP just staring things down like, oh god! You know what be a good card here? Feast. I mean, is that really one I spend, one I spend my last energy on? Probably not. 
Ah, life steal and plus two energy. Uh, plus two. Oh no, because of the sweep. Ah. Okay, well I'm about to take another twelve here. I think it's time we start getting these played. I'm happy enough now. I've got the holdover um, Shroud Mitosis and the Morsels from Shade Lamp coming through now, so. Why do you only take three, even though I've got 40 spikes? What's happening there? Oh, because you don't attack. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I'm good at this game. Some more total BS there with the pie wings making their way up. Uh, 89. Ever so, ever so slightly short there of actually doing some more damage here. Not that it really would have mattered because this is the only one that attacks. And again, I'm, I'm taking another 12 from there. I've taken a lot of damage here. I guess I will do this. The sweep. The sweep. I didn't really properly plan for that sweep, but I don't think it's made a huge difference. close. Each one of these bosses has just been that a little bit too close to my liking. I mean, until we played like 12 lifesteal, of course, but... Caches. Ah. Two damage shield, rage six, and three ember drain. Mm, no. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have the old, the age old classic here of dying to heavies that make their way through. And I don't really know what I can do about it. beyond just taking enough bio health to live and then thinning the deck out a bit more. Don't have any money. <laughs> Brilliant. Not a single damage spell. I don't need that, but I will. I will do it. I will do it. I'm not, I'm not gonna even look in the merchant trinket shop. He'll upset me. Okay. Well, how do we feel? Fifteen times two. Gross. 
Crucible Warden down here should sort that out there, right? With the spikes. Should sort these burks out. Gorge some damage shield is actually acceptable here. Plus 40 spikes up here. I mean, you do a lot of damage, but you only get one hit in because of the spikes up here, at least. This, these two, these two life still actually really help getting us set up as well. It just means we don't really have to worry that much about things like this dying straight away. He says, the turn before Crucible Warden dies straight away. Fuel, give me fuel, give me fire. So uh, that's a Metallica song, that is. You just die, right, if I play you down here. You've got one damage shield, so then that gets eaten by you. You die. Oh no, you don't die, you do minus four. Why do you only do minus four? Ten? Damage shield goes away. Fifteen. Four spikes. Fifteen. Four spikes and dead. What? I don't understand. No, I don't understand that. What am I missing? Do you not get the spikes? I thought you definitely get the spikes on the turn that you die. One damage shield. Ten. Oh, I understand. Well, I guess we'll just have to watch that play out. I'll just bung you here. It's fine. This was never really part of the plan. It's just whether these double heavies actually manage to uh, come through. Whether we're ready by the time they do. I'm not sure. 56 times 2. Like, double heavies is a worry. You got plus 4 slightly before then dying. What? Triggers after dealing a killing blow. Uh, I, I debate that. I'm going to debate that one. We got the 58 times 3. Did I get that in the last combat? I don't remember counting 58 times 3. Clearly I did. Ugh. It's going to all be down to Alloyed Construct, isn't it? Sentient's not living much longer. I didn't find, like, a single... You know what would have been really, really, really good here was um, Call of the Wild Wood... Unleash the Wildwood, this one. That would have been bonkers good. But, you know. You know. I don't need to play these, because you've still got the two lifesteal from when you were spawned. Yeah, we've not got really many Awoken healing cards for an Awoken deck. Can I play Morsels to Chomp block for this? Not really, because you're all, say, 15 times 2. Shattered Shell's going to have to do some work here. Which, thankfully, it is. This is, this is very scary now. And you're actually getting 20 health. But we do 63 times 3. You only have 10 health. 
Maybe I should have given you, like, anything. Anything more than zero attack. Ah, <sighs> Well, it's all going to happen on the top floor now, isn't it? Let's get you. Let's, ju let's just go, shall we? Let's just flip and go. We've got the Shroud Mitosis coming up. Somewhere in here. We've got two of these. That definitely helps. Right, what are we Shroud Mitosising? Shroud Mitosing. Plus four? Or t plus two and lifesteal. Probably lifesteal, right? The more lifesteal, the better. Although lifesteal on a multi strike times three is not whoop de doo. Plus, we're getting all the lifesteal we need from here. So, probably just the attack. And not the damage shield, also. I'm going to now play one damage shield one. But I am going to Shroud Mitosis, the plus four, which I've already forgotten which one that is. This one. Eh, I probably could have not played one of them, so I had a bit more room. Wow, you're getting through. You're doing... Ugh. Ugh. Wow, I didn't even get a morsel this turn. That means I can't play this, because there's no morsel to even get it hold over with. Ah, oh, screwed it up. I'm gonna die. Ah. <laughs> Monster train, why? Why do you hate me so much? Please. Please. <laughs> What's happened? I can't win. I can't win the monster train ed ever again. Can't be done. Alright, well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, give me a thumbs up. And if you know what I'm doing wrong, please tell me, because I've lost like 10 in a row. At least. At least. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.